folks, welcome to another edition of Play Branson, where you get to know Branson's entertainers better. My name is Chris Meyer. I'm going to be your host for the show today. And on the show today, for the first time ever, I have Dylan Massingale, young entertainer here in Branson, just launched a new CD and uh, part of a family show here in town. And so we're going to be talking to him. And then his dad will also be with us, Wayne Massingale. And if you've been around Branson any amount of time, you know Wayne is a veteran legendary uh, performer here in Branson. So we've got both of them on the show today. Okay, here's my interesting fact that is useless for you today. Did you know that Fruit Loops are all the same flavor? So there's no point in eating any of them separately. All the Fruit Loops taste like fruit, other than the wild berry Fruit Loops, of course. But there's your interesting fact of the day. All Fruit Loops are the same flavor. Now, here's the deal. If you're thinking about coming to Branson, Missouri, and you haven't booked your summer trip yet, you need to do that. There's only a little bit of time left before summer's over and we head into fall. It's a great time to come. There's lots to do, whether it's the shows, the attractions, the theme parks, the lakes, golfing. It's the perfect vacation destination for you to come and have a great time with your family. You've been cooped up forever. You've been home because of COVID or you, maybe you haven't traveled as much. And so uh, folks are finally getting out there. People are getting vaccinated. So come on to Branson and uh, we'd love to have you here. Folks, we'll be back in just a minute with Wayne Massengill and his son, Dylan. You got, you're gonna wanna see this show, it's gonna be awesome. There are so many things to do in Branson. You need help planning and booking all your fun. You need ibranson.com. You can find everything Branson has to offer from your computer, tablet, or cell phone. You can even buy tickets online or talk to one of their friendly Branson travel specialists. There's no sales pitches, no delivery fees, no service fees, and no waiting. It's fast and easy. Find your fun at ibranson.com. Do it all online or call 877-ENTERTAIN. That's 877-368-3782. ibranson.com. Hey folks, welcome back to Play Branson. And today on the show, for the first time ever, I have Dylan Massengale. And back from a long hiatus, we also have Wayne Massengale. So father and son, you know, this might be, and I, this might be the first father and son interview I've ever done. I'd, I'd have to go back and look, but it might be. So well, welcome to the show. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank so, you. Good. I think you're also one of the youngest performers I've had on the show. Really? So you're 17, right? Yes. And um, so let's kind of, even though you're young, let's kind of go back okay. and let's talk about the history. Like how did you get involved in music? Well, all my years of seeing life, um, I, well, growing up I got to watch my mom and dad play music throughout the years. I watched my dad uh, play at Grand Country for so many years and he's still like for Grand Country and then uh, watching my mom, watching her get to play with different shows like with Buck Trent and so many others that, uh, you know, the, uh, the list, you know, goes, the the list, list is extensive, yeah. 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 yeah, so, but just, that's just how I kind of got influenced with kind of music and just watch them how they do the work, so. So do you, do you play instruments then? Mm -hmm. I play bass guitar. Um, I sing during, uh, in the show and uh, I love getting to do that with the family. Okay. Wayne, why don't you tell people a little bit about your background as well, because you go way back in this business. Yes, uh, not like before the cave, but uh, <laughs> I, I, but anyway, uh, I started as early as uh, 1980. I was uh, got my first start at Silver Dollar City for a couple of week run, but I did 1981 at Fiddlin' Jake's, the old Owens Theater downtown. And each year, I uh, gradually got a chance to work with different shows. Uh, Hee Haw Theater, 82, 83, Roy Clark Theater, 84. Now, uh, now, when you're telling these dates, like you're still in school when you're working yeah. these dates. Like people, you gotta realize that he was in junior high or high school when that was happening. That's right. And uh, at right out of high, high school, I started full time. Back in Branson in those days, it was just seasonal. The season would run from April to October. And then most of the shows, uh, November through uh, March, would go and do road shows and kind of promote the area as long as also get a winter paycheck. But at that time, uh, I started right after high school with the Plummer family, about a year and a half with them, and I got the opportunity to work with Roy Clark 
and get to do the last couple of years of Hee Haw, Grand Ole Opry, and all that stuff. And then a show from Las Vegas come through called Country Tonight. And I got to do a 10-year run with Country Tonight. And uh, after that, I have now been with Grand Country. This is going on my 17th season, and it's going fast. (laughs) Yeah, so anyway, Wayne is definitely a what I'd call a veteran performer in Branson. You've probably done more shows than probably just about anybody in town. Um, well, well, if you think of the schedule, Wise Country yeah. and I was two shows a day. Uh, this I'm doing two and three shows a day, and right now with our schedule that we're doing, and and believe me, I'm not griping. It, it is good to be busy. It's good. I'd rather be working than looking. So yeah. that's a good thing. Yeah. So you've grown up with musical influences your whole life. Yes. And so you have got this album mm-hmm. that you have put out here, folks. Here it yes. is, Dylan Massengale. Tell tell people tell people about this album and the process going through because I know there's a lot of neat stories on this album. Mm-hmm. Well, um, in the winter time, I just said I want to do something at least just to uh, just make an album or something. And we did that and uh, we recorded it and then it came out in the my week of my birthday when I just turned 17. And when was that? That was the 15th. April. You know when your birthday is. Well, oh, the, the 14th. Re- I know well, that. Yeah, but the re- regular yeah. was released the day after. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and so, but that was the day of that it, when it came out, and it was really exciting that day. Yeah. And so you have you have some original songs on here. Mm-hmm. And so talk about that. Okay. Uh, first of all, I want to mention one that uh, he wrote this one. Uh, it was called a Swing a Country Song. And um, Splinter Middleton, um, he's a local guy here in town, got to sing it um, on one of those songs. And then my uh, dad said, well, why don't you try it once? And I said, okay. I went in the studio, tried it once, and I liked it very much. I and said, you're on. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're on. Yeah, and, and uh, I just, it's a good old Western swing. I've been a fan of Western swing music. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. then uh, also, uh, there's a, a couple other originals on there as well. Um, there was uh, Here Comes the Loneliness, and that was recorded by Splinter Middleton. He recorded that off of his album a long time ago. And well, he was the writer. Mm-hmm, he mm-hmm. was the writer of that song and I fell in love with it I said let's just try it in the show maybe at once and we did that and okay. let's just try it on the album we did that and then the uh, other the uh, last original that's on there is a duet with me and Rhonda Vincent on there yes Rhonda Vincent and for those of you Rhonda Vincent's huge like she's yeah. big yes queen of bluegrass yeah. yes and the newest inductee to the Grand Ole Opry yes mm-hmm. and so she was on the show a while back so I think it was last year uh, probably in maybe October September October of last year so check that out old mm-hmm. episode so anyway you're she's on the album with you yep mm-hmm. she uh, got to be on the album and uh, it was in January when we were still in the process she was checking out how we was doing after she had her Christmas run in town and uh, she said, what are y'all doing? I said, well, we're in the process of making my album. She said, oh, that's great. She said, can I help? And I said, what? <laughs> like, I'm just saying, what? But, yeah. yeah. Oh, what, let's think about it. Uh, yes. <laughs> yes, yeah. yes. And so, well, I said, well, let's just tr- look up maybe George and Tammy or Porter and Dolly songs. And she said, no, we need an original. That's what she said. Mm. And uh you know, her and Daryl Singletary did an all duet CD, American Grandstand, and uh, they were in the process of making another duet CD, but um, Daryl never did make the track. He already passed away mm. at the time. So Rhonda had that saved, and she sent that to me and thinking, well, see what you think of it. And I liked it very much, and we said, well, you do the, what part, what you want to do, and I'll do what my part, I will, what I want to do. And um, I loved it very much. And one of uh, the songwriters is in that in that song is uh, Mr. Billy Yates yeah, and Jerry yeah. Sally that it, did that song. And folks, Billy Yates, he's not in Branson right now, but we've had him on the show I think like three times in the past. Excellent songwriter, mm-hmm. written lots of great hits. So great, man, guy. talented man, unbelievable. Like, like if you're putting in your first album together, like. To have a Billy Yates song with Rhonda Vincent on it, that's pretty pretty awesome. Mm-hmm. That's, you know? a, that's, that's a gift right there. That's, it is. That's, mm-hmm. that's the Lord blessing you in a, in a major way because, uh, you know, 
he wanted to record this CD. It come up, it's like, well, my brother has T-shirts for sale. Mom and Dad has their own CDs yeah. for sale, and we're doing these shows. I want my own CD. And what was typically going to be a CD of doing a bunch of cover tunes started building and building. And before we knew it, you know, we've got this. For your first CD, this yeah. is a, a real treasure, you yeah. know, so we're tickled for yeah. Yeah. tickled for you too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, one of the things I know I read is that as part of this, like every time you sell a CD, you're given a donation. Mm -hmm. So talk a little bit about that. Um, when I was four and a half to five years old, I was diagnosed with high functioning autism and doctors told my parents and the rest of my family, I wouldn't be able to get to do what I love to do, perform or ever get to do that mm -hmm. and with the accomplishments and goals that I've tried to reach and then do these therapies that, that I've tried to do and of where I'm at now there would be no way I'd be on performing and now look where I'm at now mm -hmm. on stage so yeah and so you're the is it what is it called the the place you're giving it? is it spectrum rock, rock the, the spectrum. spectrum rock the spectrum that's yeah right. and uh, uh, you're what what we decided to do was uh, uh, for every CD you sell, you know, put back a dollar and and let's set it aside and put it uh, for the uh, Rock the Spectrum mm -hmm. Foundation. And they have actually a special show that they, or a special event that happens in October. So yeah. after everything's all said and done, we're going to count up what all you have sold and mm -hmm. present them a check mm -hmm. and that uh, and help out the families. You can also. There's a, a website, but if you Google it or look up uh, Rock the Spectrum, it goes. It also shows where the money is going to, and it is to help out a local family that has a, a child that yeah. has autism and help them. Yes. So, so I, I mean, I think it's a great it's a great tie into a charity event, and I think it it, it, it talks to your story that you've been able to overcome difficulties mm -hmm. and do what people said you weren't going to be able to do, and yeah. like that's just awesome. Like it's such a great deal, and so I know Wayne, you're you're a proud dad. Oh man, <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Folks, we're going to be back in just a second, and we'll talk more about uh, their show. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hey everybody, I am Dylan Massingale, and if you want to see my family and myself perform here, uh, we're at the uh, Branson IMAX Little Opry Theater Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturday mornings at 10 a.m. We're here till August the 21st. So if you want to come by here and see some great old country music, this is the place to come. Come see us. Hey folks, welcome back to the show. We are here today with Dylan and Wayne Massengale. And guys, let's talk a little bit about the show because you are doing a limited engagement show. It's called the Melody Heart Family Show. Yes. And so talk, talk to us a little bit about the show and what can people expect from this? Well, um, I love getting to do the show and it's all classic country music that you would hear from Connie Smith days. Um, a lot of other people that you would hear and um, I'm, I get to perform in that as well. I'm a bass player and the singer in the show. And uh, Brother Garrett, he is a, a you know, musician as well. He's a drummer and he's a singer. And uh, me and him get to do a couple of stuff here and there. And then actually you'll get to hear him sing a song. He gets to sing um, good old Charlie Daniels hit. Mm -hmm. Then uh, 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 of course, Melody Hart, my, that's actually my mother, who is the star of the show, who's playing uh, fiddle and guitar and doing all uh, what she loves to do and then also our uh, our friend our um, good friend uh, Mr. Dino Strunk the oh, guitar yeah, player yeah. He's, he's a part of our show mm -hmm. and we love getting to do that with him yeah so. so folks Dino has been on the show in the past too so go check out that old episode also um, so you guys are doing this over at the Little Opry Theater at mm -hmm. the Branson IMAX complex and that show runs through August 21st at 10 a.m. And so it's Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Right. And so, folks, if if you want to see this show, like you got to hurry because it doesn't last all year, and it's a it's a limited engagement show. And you know, over time, we've seen where Melody and you know you guys have done stuff. You were doing stuff at yeah. the, across the street from where we film over here at Choices. Mm -hmm. And and so. I know, I think you guys will pop up again somewhere else, but 
your schedules become really busy in the fall, and so it makes it hard to do all these other shows. Yes, Melody and I both were still uh, with Grand Country. Uh, we uh, are part of the television show Branson Country USA, and we both performed together on Down Home Country. Well, during you know what happened over the course of last year with the COVID outbreak, and then schedules got messed up and changed. Um, we was looking to add some dates, and they actually come to us. You know, would you be interested in uh, playing for us over at the uh, Little Opry Theater? And you know, well, we'd love to, but you know, this is like a conflict of interest. You know, we, we're <laughs> we're here at Grand Country. You know, it's like. If we could work, we would love because our passion is getting to play music with each other. And our show, yeah. it's kind of like a throwback. It has high, en high energy like you'd have, you know, when you go to a rock and roll concert. But we're doing classic country music. Uh, like he said, she does Connie Smith, but she'll do Pam Tillis. We do Alan Jackson, George Strait, uh, Waylon Jennings. Uh, it's all, you know, classic country with, you know, uh, a little punch in there with it. Yeah, and and Wayne, you f you throw the punch in there, right? I do a lot of punching, yeah, a lot of yeah. jumping, a lot of. Uh, I'm, I'm Wayne is crazy. If you guys haven't kind of figured that out, he's no, a little crazy. I'm mild. I'm mild right now. But yeah. if you come to your show, watch me. I'll set myself on fire. It, it <laughs> won't happen once. But man, I need a big crowd that day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's, and, and that's that's one thing I can appreciate about you, Wayne, is like you always are. Like you're you're excited when you're on stage and you're you have lots of energy. Well, Does he like that at home all the time? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. That's a lie. Never, <laughs> never, never. No. You know what? You know, uh, I'm getting the opportunity to do what I always love to do, and people ask that all the time. Is he really like that all the time? They kind of like stand off and back the question, but uh, the. Uh, it's kind of like a switch that hits whenever the curtain opens, whenever the lights come on. It's one of those things that's. I turn into this other person, but I'm really a laid back guy, you yeah. know, and, but yeah. I turn into a different animal whenever the show starts. Yes. And so I think we probably mentioned this on the show, but I think Wayne and I went to the same high school, although he was a year ahead of me, but mm -hmm. I think we went, went to Van Halen together. We sure did. And well, that was way back in the day, but, but so there, Wayne's got this, besides country, he's got this rocker in him so as well. So Who have ever thought a fiddle player also had an interest in rock and roll? But I mean, I, yeah. I, you know, it come down to the instrumental side of everything. i become a, a Van Halen fan because of these great solos. I was not really familiar until a friend said, you mean you've never heard this? And I heard uh, uh, him doing the solo of Eruption. It's yeah. just like, wow, you know, yeah. so... So that kind of fed into me, and then they they had success yeah. uh, with their 1984 album, and then we went to see them with Sammy. But God bless your brother for taking us. Yeah, and, I don't even remember. That. I mean, it's been so far back. I just remember we went, but I didn't remember he even took us. But yes. Um, so the show's at 10 o'clock. Dylan, you're gonna you're doing are you are you doing some of the stuff in the show off the CD? Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, we're doing uh, some of the songs off the CD. Like you would hear, um, got, no, um, got No Reason for Going Home, uh, Here Comes the Loneliness, um, somewhere okay. between the duet with me and my mom that you would hear, and then uh, one that me and my brother did on the CD, Mama's to Let Your Babies Grow Up to Be Cowboys. Okay. That one and just a few others and uh, for you got it. You're doing the Alan Jackson uh, yeah, summertime, the summertime blues. blues. We're in the middle of summertime right now, mm -hmm. so yeah. we got summertime blues on there. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So. What, what do you what do you want to do in the future? What's your what's your goal in the future? Well, um, in the future, I'd love to continue performing what I love to do for the people and to show what I have to mm -hmm. make them feel that this is an interest for them, what they love to hear, and I want to bring back the old country music mm -hmm. back because the nowadays Absolutely. because nowadays they're bringing this new stuff in of country <laughs> music and they think it is, but it's not really, yeah. but. But I want to bring it back to what you would hear of Merle Haggard days, uh, Daryl Singletary, all those that you would hear to r really what is traditional country music. Yeah. He wants, I think uh, he wants to single handedly turn back the clock and be what brings country music back to the original yeah. sound. Yeah. And I mean, he's a good looking dude. He, I, I can see, I can see him right now. You know, if George Strait, <laughs> Pat, you, we we need to have him to pick up uh, the slack and be the yeah. be the new trendsetter. Well, and I, you know, I think it's interesting because that 
you know, for a, such a young individual to say, hey, I want to do that, like, there's probably not a lot of other people out there that have that no. goal and ambition. And um, you just got to keep on tr go going. And, and yeah. this is a great, you know, this is a great start. And, um, you know, I think uh, you've been around the industry all your life and yes. with your parents. And so I think it's really exciting, folks. And so go support the Hart family. Well, the Massengale family, okay. the Hart yeah. family, whatever you want to call it. The Melody Hart family show. The Melody Hart family show. Go, go support them out at IMAX. And uh, if you see this after, uh, towards the end of August, you can see Wayne and uh, his wife over at Grand Country. And then uh, be sure to get the CD, Dylan Massengale. Be sure to go out and pick that up. Uh, you can pick that up at the shows right now, right? Yes, but we also have a website. Please go to MelodyHeartFamily.com. Okay. And if you don't want the whole CD, you can also buy individual tracks. And we also have our other uh, music on there, Melody CDs, My CDs. And we've got Melody Heart Family uh, uh, T-shirts that we sell at the shows, but go to the website and you can, we'll be glad to uh, get you all set up with yep. the music. Now, yep. now, I'm a CD guy, so like they've obviously got it where you can download it as well, but I, I, I like to have a physical copy. I like copy. to have the hard copy. I'm because you know what, you cannot get an autograph on a digital copy, it just doesn't work. It and don't so work. I, I'm just one of those old school guys, and so anyway, um, Dylan, try and keep the ladies off. <laughs> you know, too much. They get a, They start seeing this, they're going to be chasing you. Um, okay, folks, we will be back in just a moment to wrap the show. Folks, welcome back to the show. We're wrapping the show up today. We want to thank you for watching. Be sure to go check out the Melody Heart Family Band over at the IMAX uh, Complex in the Little Opry Theater. That's now through the end of August, uh, August 21st to be exact. You can catch them Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturdays there at 10 o'clock, and you can see the whole family performing. Uh, great entertainers. Uh, they love country music. You're going to get some great country there, and you're going to get Wayne's energy from the what I call the rock air. Combine it, it makes for an awesome experience. Next week's artist, we've got two guys from a new show in town called Famous Impressions. So I have Doug Steele and Mark Sander are going to be on the show. First time they've ever been on. We're going to learn about that new show, and so. Uh, be sure to check out that episode. If you have artists that you would like to see on the show, let us know who they are and we'll do our best to get them on in a future episode. And if you need help planning your Branson vacation, be sure to go to ibranson.com or you can call those folks at 877-ENTERTAIN. They can help book all your shows for um, your vacation. Uh, you're going to get great local advice and um, you just need to give those folks a call and they'll make your vacation planning much easier. So we'll be back next week with more Play Branson.